Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my stock signals video for Monday the 18th of March. So I've chosen work day today on the daily time frame. I've zoomed out a little bit now just to show you where I'm coming from with work day. So I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and our Black Box Breakout Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform. Both of those indicator suites are also available for Ninja Trader and TradeStation. So let's have a look at this on the daily time frame. See, see what work they've been doing. One hour software is actually telling us. So when we've come down on the left here from this previous small bearish trend there, we've been very corrective. And then we broke out of there. You see, we've had this very small bearish trend, the one, two, three, four, five, hit our fifth wave target. And then we've had the ABC corrections. Now, then we've had the big impulse leg wave one out of that range that was formed at this sort of level around about $148 there. We broke out of that range. We've had the wave two pullback, hit our cloud, and then we've had the long impulse leg wave three to all time highs of $200 to the tick. Now we've had this wave four pullback, which has been quite severe due to the earnings reaction. So quite high volume on that. But then we found support and it looks like the market wants to take this back on its journey on the overall longer term bullish trend. So there's two options here. We potentially, you know, we have got a fifth wave move into our automated uh, fifth wave target zone here at 207.05. Traditionally, we would have our stop loss below the wave four uh, here and our entry just coming out of the 6-4 moving average high. You can see here it's tried a few days. This is the daily time frame to break out of that 6-4 moving average high. Uh, but we, we just failed a little bit there. Uh, the, auto, the pullback zone is really good. It's found support in our automated probability zones there in the green zone. So that represents an 85% probability on our Elliott Wave indicator suite that's going to go on and make that new Wave 5 high into our automated target zones and a an all, new all-time high. High. Very strong stock just lately. The wave four behaved pretty well actually. We look at the 535 oscillator, the top sub chart here. It's pulled back between our 19 and 140%, which is great. The, the stochastic has the false breakout at the top there, the middle sub chart. It's pulled back, crossed over, and wants to go back. And then our on our black box breakout indicator, see overall trend is bullish. Everything's green on all the time frames. Then we have this slight pullback on the daily time frame here. As you can see red, it goes below our Clyde's cloud slightly here. And then we come back into the cloud in the cyan. And then since then, we've been closing above the cloud. So we're all green again on all the time frames, all the way up to weekly there. So good looking potential bullish trade here. But I want to go really aggressive with this because on Friday, we we got a signal from our black box breakout indicator. Now, I've drawn these lines on as well, but the main thing is the bubbles and these lines you see here. These are our indications. These are our signals on the daily time frame for Workday. So what does that mean? That means we've had increased volume from the day before. So Friday's candle was a green candle, which is an up candle, but increased volume. You see the day before was a gray candle. So that was an up candle, but lower volume. So what we've done, we've had this little pullback intraday. We found support on Friday and rejected those lows and we've increased the volume. Not only that, that candle um, has met our criteria as far as price action and volume within our black box breakout indication software to give us the signal for a long. So I'm going to take this long signal. I'm going to be really aggressive with the stop and the entry and look for a target into our fifth wave target zone. So I'm combining. So I'm combined our Elliott Wave indicator suite to see where we are on the trend for this stock. Have been very, very confident on this wave four pullback. And those wave four profit taking pullbacks are usually uh, caused by those catalysts of earnings and news events. So that's happened. We've found support. So I've used that Elliott Wave Indicator Suite to feel confident that we've got a good high potential fifth wave move. Now I've gone really aggressive because I've got my signal on the black box breakout indicator to go long. So the entry is printed in the bubble there, 189.57 to go long. 
we don't go long until it goes through there the stop loss 182.37 that gives us a risk to reward of over one to two into our fifth wave target zone there again we've got a good target with that that's calculated with our Elliott wave indicator suite and that is a probable uh, price zone for our fifth wave target and all time a new all time high around about two hundred and eight dollars even if it comes in and tests two hundred dollars we're one to one point five so we've still got a good risk reward there so as you can see i've used both of our indicator suites here to set up a potential long on work day if these bullish markets continue this week we could see that move quite quickly we have uh, with ES really gone through the zone, the resistance zone, and closed above there Friday. Now that could be a one day wonder. We need continuation uh, into Monday and Tuesday session, but there could be a little bit of a bullish uh, move here in the markets, and we need to take advantage. And going with an aggressive entry with our black box breakout indicator could reap those rewards. So that's it for today. The long on WDA workday. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.